Hello everybody! In this video, I'm going to go over errors, and in particular, syntax errors. Alright, let's get going. An error happens basically anytime your code doesn't work as expected. Syntax error is a type of error, and if you're taking the APCSP exam, you need to know exactly what it does. A syntax error is anytime the, the code does not follow the rules it's supposed to follow, and your code will crash right away. So those two things are important to know. You're not following the rules and the code crashes right away. So I've written some code here. If you look at the first line and the 16th line, those are good lines. It's going to print out, welcome to Python. Everything is awesome. So remember those good lines because when I have syntax errors, they will not run. So here I'm going to comment out my first line with a syntax error. Right away, you see a red highlight. So if you're working in an IDE like Replit, this is going to give you a hint that something is wrong. When I run the code, Nothing runs, not even the working lines 1 and 16. In the console here on the right, it's going to say syntax error. It's going to tell you where that syntax error is, so in this case line 2. And the location of the syntax error is highlighted with this caret. And in this case, I see where it is and I recognize, oh, I'm missing a quotation mark. So now I'll show you my second syntax error that I made. Again, in the code you see a red highlight, which gives you a hint as to where the error is. When I run it, Nothing runs again. It's a syntax error. Nothing runs. The console says syntax error, so I know it's a syntax error. It tells me the line, which is line 4. And the location of my syntax error, there's a caret right there. So it tells me where to look to fix my code. In this case, I need an extra parenthesis. So now I'll show you syntax error number 3. You'll see again this red highlight in the code that tells me where I might have an error. When I run it, once again, nothing runs. When you have a syntax error, nothing runs. It says syntax error. It tells me that it's line 7. And a caret shows me where Python thinks my error is. So when I see that, I know, oops, I didn't make a colon. I'll make that colon. Here's syntax error number 4. Get the syntax errors when I'm not following the rules of the programming language. So here, four number x numbers. This should be in numbers. You may or may not have done this yet, but that's okay. Just trust me, it's for number in numbers. In the code, I have a red highlight, which tells me something is wrong. If I try to run it, again, it's a syntax error, so nothing runs. It says it's a syntax error. It tells me the syntax error is on line 12. And the caret tells me where in line 12 it thinks the error is. Me, knowing Python, I recognize it right away. It should be an in. So here's syntax error number 5. Again, it's got a red highlight. When I have a syntax error, nothing will run. The console says syntax error. And it says line 16. So here's an example where the line number it gives you may be a little bit misleading. What's going on here? Well, in line 15, I'm missing a parenthesis. But Python thinks I'm continuing on the next line. And when it reads line 16, it sees something that it's not expecting, and then it crashes. So there are certain scenarios where it tells you that the error is in line 16, but it's actually on line 15. It's actually going to be on the line before. And this is usually when you forget a parenthesis or something along those lines. All right, so here's the lab that you're going to be doing. Syntax errors. Again, I'm giving you the solution here. You should pause the video and try it yourself. But if for some reason you can't get it, here is the solution. All right, so here is the lab. The lab is really all about finding syntax errors. So normally, if you're working in something like Replit or Visual Studio Code or PyCharm, you're going to see some red squiggly lines here. Because you're working in this environment, they're not there. But normally, those would be hints as to where your syntax errors are. But in this case, we don't have those, so we're just going to click Run. You'll see nothing runs because it's a syntax error. This right here is my hint that it's a syntax error. It says syntax error. Right here, this is where the syntax error is. There's a caret by where the syntax error is, and it says it's on line 2. So on line 2, the caret points to the end, and you see there's no quotation mark. So I'm going to add that quotation mark. Then I'll start over. I'll click Run. You'll see even the lines at work don't run because I have a syntax error. My syntax error is on line 4. As far as where the syntax error is, this caret's giving me a hint as to where it is. I can recognize that I'm missing a quotation mark. So I'll put that quotation mark in. I'll click Run one more time. And once again, it's a syntax error. Nothing runs. It gives me the line number, line 6. The caret gives me the location of my error. The end of the line, I recognize that I'm missing a colon, so I'll put that in, and I try again. 
All right, so for this last one, once again, nothing runs because it's a syntax error. It's telling me it's on line 10, and it tells me it's at the beginning of the line. So in this particular syntax error, this is one of those ones where sometimes you have to look at the line before. Why? Because on line 9, I am missing a parentheses at the end. And because I'm missing that parentheses, Python thinks that I'm continuing that line onto the next line. And when it runs into line 10, it's not what it expects, and it crashes. So sometimes, especially if you see that syntax error at the beginning of the line, the syntax error is actually at the line before. So this time I see it to the line before. I recognize that I need a parentheses. And I'll try one more time. I click run. It asks me for a number. I'll give it a number. And now my code works. All right, so that's pretty much it. Hope that was useful to you. And if it was, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.